Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Um, we'll be doing another replay of the 2016 Washington Nationals um, season. I had planned on doing a Red Sox one next, but uh, looks like Washington Red Sox are off today. So we're going to be going right to the Washington Nationals game. Uh, they lost the last game uh, by a score of 3-2 to two to the uh, Atlanta Braves there. Uh, which is kind of a disappointing loss there since they actually won in real life 3-1. to one. But anyway, we'll try to make up for that today. And um, we'll be playing the Nationals game against the Miami Marlins there. Now, in actuality, the Marlins actually won this game, but we're going to try to change it and uh, get that game back that we uh, that we lost before, so at least stay on track to what their record was um, before. So let's get started here. And we're going to simulcast all the other games. So let's see here. So Miami and Washington right here. Alrighty. So this will be the order for the Miami Marlins. Going up against the Washington Nationals and Tanner Rourke making his first start of the year. D. Gordon will be batting first and playing second base. Marcel Asuna will be playing center field and batting second. Batting third will be Kristen Yelich playing left field. Batting cleanup, the slugger G Giancarlo Stanton playing right field. Batting, hold on. Turn it down a little bit. Batting fifth will be Martin Prado playing third base. Batting 6th will be Justin Bohr playing first base. Batting 7th will be JT Realmuto in catching. Batting 8th, the shortstop Denny Echeverria. And batting ninth in pitching on the mound, making his first start of the season, will be Adam Conley. Alrighty. So we'll get to the Nationals lineup when, uh, when they come up. So we'll be setting Miami to the AI. We play radio live from Washington. Top of the first. So all right. So batting first for the Miami Marlins will be D. Gordon. He's hitting currently on the season 444, four for nine with an RBI. Tanner York are making his first start of the season. He was 16 and 10 in the regular season for the Washington Nationals with an ERA of 2.83 and a whip of 1.17 in 210 10 innings pitched and 33 starts. So all right, so let's get ourselves started here. And he pops out to Rendon for the first out. One out, base is empty. So as you can see, there's kind of a light schedule today. There's only nine games, and eight games, including this one on the schedule. Uh, left to right for the Nationals, it'll be Worth, Taylor, and Harper in the outfield. Worth's average and Taylor and Harper are above average. Uh, in the infield, we have Rendon and Espinosa, both very good defenders at sh third base and shortstop, respectively. Um... Playing second base will be Daniel Murphy. He's slightly below average. And Zimmerman, he's slightly above average there. Tanner Rourke is an uh, above average fielding pitcher. And behind the plate, Wilson Ramos, above average in the uh, catching. So here we go. So batting second will be Marcelo Suna. He's off to a slow start. Just one hit and seven at-bats. A couple RBIs. Two up and two down. Two out, space is empty. All right, Kristen Yelich up now. Four for eight with a homer and four RBIs. And he's got a single up the middle. So two outs and a runner on first. Two outs, men on first. All right, Giancarlo Stanton will be up now. Sitting 286, two hits and seven at bats, and with a homer and four RBIs. 
And he strikes out to end the inning. No runs, one hit, and one left on. Bottom of the first. All right, head to the bottom of the first for the Washington Na Nationals. Michael Taylor will be batting first and playing center field. Anthony Rendon, the third baseman, will be batting second. Bryce Harper, the right fielder, will be batting third. Ryan Zimmerman will be batting cleanup and playing first base. Batting fifth will be Jason Worth and playing left field. Batting sixth, the second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Batting seventh in catching, Wil Wilton Ramos. Batting eighth and playing shortstop, Danny Espinosa. And on the mound, I think it was Taylor Rourke. Yeah, Tanner Rourke. So we're getting to know our lineup pretty well. The pitchers we don't know all yet, but um, so I think we're, we're doing a pretty good job there with that. So all right, let's get ourselves started here. Uh, Michael Taylor leads it off. He was 0 for 4 in his, play, in his first game last week. I mean yesterday, sorry, not last week. And he strikes out. So they'll be going up against Adam Conley, who is 8 and 6 on the season with a 3.85 ERA. Kind of a high whip. So he does let runners get on. 1.40. 25 starts, 133 innings pitched. So he averaged less than less than six innings in outing here. A little over five innings. So, all right, Anthony Rendon up now. Two for eight with a home run. I believe he home run in the last game we just played. I'll hit the second and possible infield single here. So one and six will will be an out, and two two through five will be a hit. And he's safe. So the umpire calls him safe. One out, man on first. So one out with a man on first for Bryce Harper. Hitting 286, two hits and seven at bats with a homer and an RBI. And he walks. So runners on first and second now with one out for Ryan Zimmerman. One out, men on first and second. All right, so Ryan Zimmerman is Hitting 250, two for eight with an RBI. RBI chance here. And he flies out to Stan for the second out. Two outs, men on first and second. All right, Jason Worth up now. Two for seven with an RBI. Make that two RBIs. Rendon comes in to score. So the Washington Nationals take an early one and nothing lead here in the bottom of the first. Two outs, men on first and third. All right, next up will be Daniel Murphy. Two for eight. And he flies out to Yelich to retire the side. One run, two hits, and two left on. All right, so Washington takes a one nothing lead going into the top of the second. He'll face Prado. Moore and Real Ramudo. Prado's one for eight for a 125 average with an RBI. And he flies out to Harper. One out, base is empty. All right, next up will be Justin Bohr. One for seven with it. And he gets him swinging. Empty. All right, Real Mudo up now. One for seven so far in the season. Some possible ballpark effect here. So a 32 and above will be a hit. Anything else will be a fly out to left. And it's like it's going to drop in for a single in front of Orth. Two outs, men on first. All right, so two outs now for Echevera with the runner on first. He's two for seven. 
for a 286 average with an RBI. And he lines out to Murphy to end the inning. No runs, one hit, and one left on. Bottom of the second. All right, bottom of the second. Ramos, Espinosa, and Rourke. Ramos is one for six so far in the season for 167 clip. No homers and no RBIs. And he gets himself an infield single. So a good start to the second. No outs, men on first. For the Nationals. And we get a possible wild pitch here. A possible Bach, actually. So his Bach rating's a two, so I think if we go a I think if we go below it, then I think it's a Bach, but I think above it is is not a Bach. Oh, it is higher. It's just the opposite. So higher than the rating, it's a it's it is a Bach. No outs, man on second. So he moves up to second on the Bach by Conley. So they have a run in scoring position, tying runs in. Wait, no, not a tying run. <laughs> the. Uh, they have a runner in second now with nobody out for Espinosa. Hitless on the season so far. Uh, gets his first hit and a great time to get it. And Wilson will come around to score. And we'll see here. We'll see if Espinosa moves up to second here. And he slides in the second safely. So it's higher than the catcher's defense there. So that would tell me that, yeah, that would tell me that this lines up with the outfielders because the higher the defense is, the better for the outfielders. Um, so if this were a five, then he would block everything. But because this five is higher than the four, then he is going to be safe. No outs, man on second. All right, so Espinoza, Espinoza moves in, moves into scoring position on the throw to the plate. And Tanner Rourke, the pitcher, will be up now. Sit just a buck twenty-five hitter. Looks like they're anticipating the bunt. I think we're gonna sacrifice anyway. Ramos is a two bunter, so he's a very good bunter. Infield in, so it'll be in this column here. He's gonna lay down a bunt. And successful sacrifice. Espinosa moves up to third. One out, man on third. All right, so Michael Taylor up now, the top of the order. Struck out his first time up. See if they can get this run home. Deep fly out to left field. That should do it, and Espinosa will score. So the Nationals have increased their lead to three to nothing now. Two outs, base is empty. So good fundamentals there for the Nationals. Anthony Rendon will be up now. He singled his first time up. And he lines out to Staten to retire the side. Two runs, two hits, and none left on. Top of the third. All righty. Top of the third now. Washington increases the lead to three to nothing now. They'll have Conley and then the top of the order and Gordon and Ozuna. Hits to Murphy. Murphy throws over to Zimmerman, and it's one down. All right, D. Gordon will be up now. He popped out to third his first time up. This time he hits it to third, and Rendon throws over to Zimmerman. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. So Azuna up now. Grounded the second his first time up. All four. And he walks this time so a 2 out base runner for the Marlins here two outs, men on first. Yelich up now he singled his first time up and he's gonna strike out this time to end the inning no runs no hits and one left on bottom of the third all right so we head to the bottom of the third Nationals will have the heart of the order and Harper, Zimmerman, and Worth trying to add to their already three run lead. Yeah, 
Leaping catch by Gordon there. One yeah, down, one out. Zimmerman up now. He fly, flew out to right his first time up. And this time he gets a single. One out, man on first. Worth up now. He singled his first time up. Let's see. Let's try to look at the hit and run there. So I think it was I think it was 32 and 33 were the good numbers as ID just just said and can't remember what I think I think these had to be lower. So I'm not gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and swing away. And he flies out to Azuna. Two down. Two outs, men on first. Yeah, I think that one is good, and I think the 32 might be good. I think Con Murphy is a pretty good contact hitter, so that would make sense to have a couple that were in his wheelhouse there. But with two outs now, we're just going to hit away. And he strikes out to end the inning. No runs, one hit, and one left on. So a third of the way through, Washington leads three to nothing. Right, let's check out some scores here. Minnesota leads Baltimore four to nothing in the bottom of the third. Houston leads the Yankees one to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. The Diamondbacks lead the Cubs five to one in top of the third. Dodgers lead the Giants two to one in the bottom of the third. Texas and LA are tied at one. The Angels in the top of the fourth. The White Sox and the A's are. Tied at one in the top of the fourth also. Philadelphia leads Cincinnati 3-1 in the one to top of the fourth. And here, all right, your Washington Nationals lead the Miami Marlins 3 to nothing. Hey, okay, Stanton will lead it off here. Struck out his first time up. And he strikes out again. One out, base is empty. So, Tanner Rourke has four strikeouts today. Prado will be up now. He flew up to, to Harper his first time up. And he takes a walk this time. A one-out walk. One out, man on first. So Justin Bora will be up now. He struck out his first time up. And he singles this time. So Prado moves up to second. So the Marlins have something going here in the second inning with one out. Runners on first and second. One out. Men on first and second. And Real Mudo comes up here. He singled his first time up. And he's going to line out to Worth. Two down. Two outs. Men on first and second. Right, so Hachavera will be up now. He lined out to second. See what he can do here. Oh, that doesn't look good. Center. The, Single to center, and Prado's going to come around the score. Bora moves up to third, and the Marlins have are on the board. Two outs, men on first and third. All right, Conley, the pitcher, up now, and he strikes out. One run, two hits, and two left on. All right, so after three and a half. The Nationals' lead is now three to one. Bottom of the fourth. See if we can get that run back here. Ramos singled his first time out. Dribble to the catcher, and Ramos throws up the first, and that'll be one down. Base is empty. All right, Espinosa up now. Singled his first time out. Hits it to Echevera. Throws over to. Bauer. Two outs, base is empty. All right. So the pitcher spot up now. He sacrificed his first time up. And he strikes out this time. 
An easy inning to score. One, two, three. Top of the fifth. All right, halfway, th almost halfway through here. The Nationals lead by two. Hot shot, Tim Zimmerman. Oh, he's gonna bunt it. I'm sorry. So let's see here. So I believe both of these have to be higher for the bunt to be successful. Oh, just the opposite. Both have to be higher for us. To, oh, yeah, that's right, because the, the lower defense is better. That would make sense. So you'd have to be lower than that to beat it. So not much of a chance there, as Zimmerman is a good fielding first baseman. Okay. Let's zoom out now. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Like that 0 for 2 with a walk. Two out, space is empty. Yelich up now. He singled and struck out. Ball hit the Murphy. And that'll retire the side. An easy inning to score. One, two, three. Now halfway through, the Nationals lead three to one. Top of the order up now. Taylor, he's 0 for two. Ooh, ballpark effect, possible home run here. Taylor did have seven on the year and 221 at bats. So we want a 35 or above. Well, we could do a 25 or above, so we get a good shot here. Still have a possibility here. Yeah, uh -huh. so we're gonna need a six here for it to be a home run. And nope, single. So we'll take that. No outs, man on first. So lead runner on here for Rendon. Let's see. Let's check Taylor's. Not that we can really affect this, but he did have 14 stolen bases on the season, so we're going to okay with that. We're going to have him steal. Get a two-run lead here. So the runner holds, just barely cannot get a lead here. No outs, man on first. All right, Rendon up now. don't think those are good hit-and-run numbers, so we're just going to... I think we're going to hit away. Yeah, we're not going to sacrifice. Although if we do, we'll have Harper and Zimmerman chances to knock him in. Nah. And a good thing we didn't here, because we could have a possible home run here. Not as much of a chance here. So 52 and above will be a home run, definite home run, well, almost definite home run. And 35 to 51, we'll have a 1 in 6 chance. 34 below, we'll have a single. And a single. It's all right. See if we can move over to third. Nope. And this is an early hook rule, so I think if you get a certain combination of hits and runs in a row, then... Uh, or it just hits in a row, then I think they do have to do a check to whatever the early hook rating is for the pitcher. I'm not sure exactly how that works, so. No outs. Men on first and second. Keep an eye on that. Oh, it looks like they're going to take out Conley already here in the fifth. Yeah, three column makes sense there. Okay. So, all right, so Bryce Harper up now. He's walked and lined out to second. So runners on first and second with nobody out. Good chance to add to the lead here. So Nar Nar Narvison's in the pitch for the uh, Miami here. Ooh, 8.64 ERA, 8.1 innings pitched. So here we go. We have a good shot here. And he hits him. Wow. Ba loading the bases here. He definitely didn't want to do that. No outs. Bases loaded. 
The first baseman is playing in. So bases loaded now for Zimmerman. Goal line opportunity here. He's one for two with a single. I love to try a squeeze here, but. Yeah. And he singles the center. So one run comes in. See if they're going to send the next one. And they are. Rendon's going to come around. The third base coach is rolling him around. And he moves up. Harper Harper holds at second. And the Nationals increase their lead to 5-1. to one. Still nobody out. So Jason Worth up now. One for two. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see what we got here. So 22 and above will be a single. Other than that, it's a fly out to center. And it's another single. See if, see if they're going to send Harper, and they are. And Harper comes in also. Zimmerman will stay at second. Six to one now. No outs. First and second. All right, Daniel Murphy, see if he can keep it going here. Come back here to the pitcher. Try for the double play. And the batter beats the relay to first, so they get the middle runner there. Another runner comes in. One out, men on first and third. Well, maybe they didn't come in. Let me check that play by play here. Did they get the runner at home? Ground out, Zimmerman to third base, worth out at second, Murphy to first. Thought we had the bases loaded. Maybe we didn't. Um, it, no, it was just first and second. That's right. So, all right, so runners at the corners. They get the middleman. One out now for Wilson Ramos. One for two with a single. Single to left. Another runner will come in. Murphy moves up to third. So four runs in now. One out, men on first and third. So they're gonna still leave Narvison in. Espinoza will be up now, one for two. Oh, just missed the strike. A home run there. That ten would have been a home run, I think. Two outs, men on first and third. Alright, Rourke up now. We'll let him hit for himself here. With a seven to one lead. And he gets himself a single. So the pitcher knocks in a run here. See if Ramos is going to go to third. And he they hold. He holds. Two outs, men on first and second. They're All bringing right. in a new pitcher. All right, so Narvison will be out. He really didn't do much. Dustin McGowan will come in. 2.82 ERA, 1 in 3 on the season. One save, 1.22 whip. All right, top of the order, and Taylor will be coming up now. One for three with a single. And he strikes out. But. Five runs, six hits, and two left on. So the Nationals have broken it wide open here and now have an eight to one lead going to the top of the sixth. Top of the sixth. Nice to have a little comfortable lead now after all these nail-biting games I've played so far. So Stanton will lead it off here. He struck out twice. And so you have a ballpark effect check here on the center fielder. So 44 and above will be a double. Anything else will be a single. Ooh, that was a definite no doubt or double there. Stand up double. No outs, man on second. All right, Prado up now. Oh for, oh for one with the walk. Ball hit the short. Espinoza looks him back. Throws the first for the out. Man on second. Justin Bauer up now. 
One for two with a single. And he lines out to Espinosa. Two down. Two outs. Man on second. Sorry, Real Mudo. One for two with a single also. And another one to short. Possible error check here. Well, possible error. So 51. And nope. Throws over to Zimmerman. And that'll retire the side. So bottom of the sixth. Seven run lead for the Nationals. And lead off walk for Rendon. No outs, men on first. Bryce Harper will be coming to the plate now. 0 for 2 with a walk. 0 for 1 with a walk. Is hit by a pitch. And, and he flies out to Yelich. One out. Man on first. At the warning track. So Zimmerman up now. He's had a good day. Two for three. Couple of singles. Possible rear play here. Nope. It's going to be a dribble back to the mound. Yep. Pitcher tries to try to retire the runner. So a three or less, he'll be safe. And he's out. So four. Rendon moves up to second. Two outs, man on second. Alright, Jason Worth up now. Two for three with a couple of singles. I'll hit the short. And it's gonna be a close call here at first. And he's out. No runs, no hits, and one left on. Top of the seventh. All right, so after six full, the Nationals lead the Marlins eight to one. I think we'll leave Warwick in here. But we will have some action going in the bullpen here. Let's see who the Nationals have up. Looks like they're going to have Pettit and Belial up there. Loosening up slowly. Echeverria up now. And he gets himself a leadoff hit. Possible double here. And it's going to be a double. It's a leadoff double here for the Marlins here in the seventh. No outs, man on second. Hmm. Probably pinch hit for the pitcher here. And we'll let we'll let Rourke say. So a pinch hitter here. So Ichiro is going to come in and pinch hit for the pitcher. So I think we have all of, all of our Perez come in here. Lefty on lefty here. He did pitch in the actual game. So, let's see what he can do against Ichiro. 291 hitter. And he moves up the third. To see if they're going to try to. And we're going to allow the run here. We want to keep Ichiro up first. So, 8 to 2 now is the score. No outs, men on first. All right, D. Gordon up now. The runner on first. A possible double play here. Nope. It's just going to go over to first and get the sure out. So one down. Each row moves up to second. Is they're going to go to the pen again? And let's see here. We're gonna bring in, bring in Pettit. All right, so I use Mario Pettit's coming in with a 4.50 ERA. Six 
62 innings pitched, 3 and 5 record with a whip of 1.32. And he strikes him out for the second out. Two outs, man on second. Yelich up now, 1 for 3. And he strikes him out too, so. They get one, but that's it. Alrighty. So David Phelps will be coming in. Danny Murphy will lead it off, 0 for 3. Echevera makes the play, one up and one down. One out, base is empty. Ramos up now. Two for three. Two singles. And an RBI. Two outs, base is empty. So I believe that's what it is here in parentheses. That means they got an RBI on the on the uh, on the hit. So let's see. Danny Espinosa up now with two down and nobody on base. Phelps is in now, 2.28 ERA, 7-6 record. Hits it to Bauer. And he makes the play to retire the side. Alright, so time is running out there for the Marlins. Stanton will lead it off. Hmm. Yeah, we'll let Pettit pitch to him. And strikes him out there. Three Ks in a row for Pettit. One out, base is empty. Prado will be up now. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Flies out to Taylor, two down. Two out, base is empty. Bauer up now. One for three with a single. And make that second as a second hit of the day. Two outs, men on first. Ramudo up now. No runs. One hit and one left on. Bottom of the eight. Alright. So let's see here. I think we're going to pinch hit here. Let's see who was used in the game. Yeah, we've been using Steven Drew quite a bit. I think we're going to use Clint Robinson or Decker. Let's see here. So we got a righty here. I think we're going to use Decker since we got such a big lead. Really does doesn't matter his at bat as much. So give him some at bats there. So Matt Van Decker comes in now. 176 hitter with a homer and 34 at bats. And he draws a leadoff walk here in the ninth. In the bottom of the eighth. No outs, man on first. Oh, let's see what happens here. Possible wild pitch. No, I don't think it's going to be a wild pitch. So catcher blocks the pitch. No outs, man on first. Taylor up now. Possible rear play. No, no real play. Ooh, this is interesting. I don't think I've seen this one before. So National Park, Nationals Park, foul pops. So this is definitely something new. I haven't seen this. It's going to be an out either way. Well, actually, no. This will be a foul. So it'll still be at bat. So less than a 31. The catcher, 31 or less, the catcher will catch it. And other than that, it'll just be a foul ball. And he'll bat again. So he does foul it to the catcher. One out. Man on first. That was interesting. Something new there. So, alright. Rendon up now. With one out and a man on first. Three, 
So two down now. Two outs, men on first. Bryce Harper. He's 0 for 2. And he strikes out. So Bryce Harper's had a pretty quiet day at the plate. No runs, no hits, and one left on. Top of the ninth. All right, we head to the top of the ninth. Miami down by six. So let's see here. Let's see what we're going to bring in for a pitching. Let's see, I think we brought in Kelly last game. Did we bring him in or were we thinking about bringing him in? I can't remember. He did pitch. Yeah, I think he has pitched recently. He's pitched one in the replay here. Um, Belial hasn't pitched anything yet. So we're going to bring in Belial here. Get him some work. So Matt Belial will come in now. 176 ERA, 1.09 whip, no record, and 46 innings pitched. Echevarro steps into the box. Murphy handles it. Possible error here. Oops. No. And he does. Murphy boots it and commits the error. No outs, man on first. So they got to be going to a pinch hitter here, I would think. The manager calls for a pinch hitter. So Rojas will come in, Miguel Rojas will come in to pinch hit. 247 average with a homer and 194 at bats. And he gets himself an infield single. So one is on first and second, nobody out. No outs, men on first and second. Ooh, see what happens here. Possible wild pitch. Uh, it's going to be a wild pitch because it's a zero rating here. So it's going to be an automatic wild pitch, pretty much. No outs, men on second and third. All right, so D Gordon up now, top of the order. Oh, Lord. Let's see, so 42 and below will be good. And it's a fly out to left. So one down. And it looks like they're gonna they may send him here. Nope, they decide to hold him. Down by six, probably a good idea. Men on second and third. So Azuna will be up now. With one out. Ball hit the first. And Echevero come in, score the third run. Rojas the third. But now there's two out. So the Marlins are down there the last out. And Christian Yelich will be the batter. One for four in the day. See if Palau can get him. Ground ball to first. So Rin throws it over to Belial. the game easily. So that, so that Nationals win. To improve their record to two and one, which is exactly what they had on the regular season. So Rourke gets the win. He's 1-0. Conley gets the loss 0-1. Zimmerman is the MVP. Let's check the box score. Zimmerman is 2-4 for four with a couple RBIs. And run scored. Okay. You can see that. Well, Rourke had a good outing too. Six innings pitched. Six hits. Two runs. Two walks and six Ks. Conley gets the loss, four, only pitched four innings, seven hits, five runs, a walk in three Ks. No home runs in the game. So let's check our other scores here. So Baltimore is ahead of Minnesota 7-5 to five in the top of the ninth. Arizona all over the Cubs, 10-2. Yankees and 
Houston are tied 2-2 two to two in the 10th. Texas and L.A. are tied in the 10th, too. Wow, a couple of good games there. Well, let's... So we'll check out the Baltimore game here. So let's see if the Orioles can close it out here. Let's see what's going on in the Orioles game here. So Alvarez and Trumbo have both went, went yard. Both solo home runs. Jimenez is the pitcher. Was the starter. So a wild pitch here. It's going to be a wild pitch. So they got their closer on now. This is Britain. Who was perfect on the year. Let's see if he can continue with it. In the, in the replay season here. And that'll do it. The Oriole, so O's win, O's win. So let's check out this game right here. Let's head out to New York for a replay update. So the Yankees and the Angels are tied at two here. Houston's got the go-ahead run on third with nobody out. They're going to use a pinch hitter. They're going to pinch hit against Andrew Miller here, see what they can do. And he strikes him out. One out, man on third. They brought the infield in. Two outs, man on third. Ball four. And he walks him, walks Valbuena, front us at the corners now. Yeah, I don't know who that was. Oh, Gonzalez strikes out. No runs, no hits, and two left on. Bottom of the 10th. One out, base is empty. The Rangers and Angels have moved to the top of the 11th. No score. Yankees get a two-out single here. Two outs, men on first. Come on, Houston. Call the bullpen. Nishet comes on the pitch for Houston. No runs, one hit, and one left on. Top of the 11th. So let's pause that one there if we can. No, we can't. One out, base is empty. Two outs, base is empty. Two out single for the Houston. Altuve gets a hit. They're making the call to the bullpen. Barbado will come in for the Yankees. No runs, one hit, and one left on. Bottom of the 11th. They're making the call to the bullpen. Houston will bring in Gregerson. Ellsbury. That was close. Texas and LA going to the bottom of the 12th now. The Angels have the leadoff runner on. Keep an eye on that game. Possibly switch over there.
two outs, men on first. They're making the call to the bullpen. Shreve in for the Yankees. No runs, one hit, and one left on. Bottom of the 12. Oh, and the Angels beat the Yankees three to two. One out, base is empty. We meet, sorry, beat Texas three to two. Wishful thinking there. Two outs, base is empty. They go down quietly, nothing doing. So we head to the thirteenth here. We'll let this go too much longer. Two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Need a home run now. Not much of a chance of a home run with this guy. Ugh. It's one thing with these extra inning games, they really wear down your pitching staff. So you better you you better get the win if you're gonna wear out your pitching staff. Two outs, base is empty. All the other games are final. Arizona beat the Cubs ten to four. San Francisco beat the Dodgers four to three. Baltimore. Beat Minnesota seven to five, which we saw already. White Sox beat the A's five to four. Phillies beat the Cincinnati six to two. And in our game, the Nationals beat the Marlins eight to three. Two outs, men on first. Ooh, 14 innings here. No runs, one hit, and one left on. Bottom of the 14. Man. One out, base is empty. Two outs, base is empty. Wow. It's a one, two, three inning. Top of the fifteenth. Come on, error. Oh, so close. One out, base is empty. Two outs, base is empty. Right column, just wrong result. An easy inning to score. One, two, three. Bottom of the 15. They're making the call to the bullpen. Oh my goodness. One out, base is empty. Base is empty. An easy inning to score. One, two, three. Top of the 16. Whew, 16 innings here. Let's see if we can uh, see if they can beat ID Gestures' uh, 18 inning game here. Hopefully not. One out. Base is empty. They're making the call to the bullpen. My oh, goodness. Looks like they're bringing out the starters now. Two outs, base is empty. And just like that, the inning's over. Bottom of the 16th. One out, base is empty. Two outs, base is empty. Wow. 
Struck out the side. An easy inning to score. One, two, three. Top of the 17th. Must be a rare play here. Rare play. This could be good. Home advantage. Ah. Two out, space is empty. Come on. Wow. They go down quietly, nothing doing this half inning. Bottom of the seventeen. One out, space is empty. They're bringing in a new pitcher. Wow, five strikeouts in a row, I think. Two out, space is empty. For the Houston pitching staff. An easy inning to score. One, well, looks like they're going to tie the gestures. 18 inning affair here, at least. Wow. One out, space is empty. Ooh, double into the corner here. Finally, crowd starts to come alive a little bit. One out, man on second. Oh, so they don't like that. Ooh, intentionally walk Gonzalez here. One out, oh. man on first oh. and second. Come on, Houston. Looks like Eva Boyne is going to come in the score, and that's the go-ahead run. Hopefully that will be enough. One out, man on first and third. Go, Houston. They brought the infield in. Two outs, men on first and third. All right. Let's see if Houston can close it out here. And two left on. Bottom of the 18th. One down. One out, base is empty. One more out here. We're all mine up now. Woo! Thought that was going to go. Houston wins the game in extra innings. From all of us at Replay Games, thanks for playing. All right, so I'll take care of everything there. Let's go back to our game here. Uh, end the game. It's all right. Thank you for joining us. Let's just take a look at quickly the replay daily here. Giants had the game of the day. White Sox and A's had the... Hmm, surprise the Houston game didn't have the best uh, ratings there. That's surprising. Who votes on these anyway, huh? <laughs> so, alright, so Boston's leading. Got a 2-0 record here in the East. And Nationals are got a 2-1 record. They're in first place, a half game ahead of Atlanta. Miami drops to one and two. Let's check out our next game here. So our next schedule of game will be yeah, the Red Sox at Toronto. We'll play that one next. Joe Kelly goes up against Oh boy. Joe Kelly's actually pitched a couple games in relief. <laughs> we'll see how long he lasts in that one. He may be pulled early in that one. That could that one could be interesting. Wish I would have known that. Uh, and the Nationals. Looks like the Nationals have the day off. Baltimore will be playing Tampa. Tillman against Archer. That looks like a good matchup there. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the Nationals have the day off. So we'll play the, uh, play the Boston-Toronto game next. So, all right, thank you for joining me. This has been Eric from High Ground Gaming. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good night and God bless.